Mimicking the Natural Order with Complex Systems. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 599. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. Welcome back. It's Jay again here for our September 9th, 2024 edition of Weekly Progress Update. And today I want to talk to you about mimicking the natural order with complex systems. And the complex systems that we're developing, you can see happening in the background of this video. And they cover food, energy, housing, what we call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, education, economics, and stewardship, managing it all, stewarding it all. And mimicking the natural order with complex systems is about demonstrating humanity as the keystone species capable of managing all this because we don't work against nature, we model and mimic nature to demonstrate radical sustainability as demonstrated by everything happening in the background of this video as a pathway to a more fulfilling, enriching, and luxuriant life that most people consider to be far superior to the way that they're living right now. And if you're watching this video, you're probably somebody who already recognizes that the world's facing some pretty brutal challenges right now. And um, even though we have the ability to eat the highest quality food, a lot of people can't afford it. We don't have access, access to it. There's no ability to get fresh, really, truly fresh food, even though we could grow it ourselves, but who has time to do that? You know, even though we have the ability to build all sustainable energy, renewable energy right now, we're still running a lot on fossil fuels because, you know, it's easier access or people don't know where to start or it's too expensive. You know, even though we have the ability to build homes without toxic materials that and that will last longer and be able to stand up to natural disasters a lot better than traditional homes we're not doing that they're more artistic and beautiful you know even though we have the ability to create communities of built around a culture of personal growth and fulfilled living most of us don't really even know our neighbors really well or if we know our neighbors we don't know our neighbors neighbors so well and so it's like how do we do that and the answer is mimicking the natural order with complex systems. And the natural order, I think the easiest way to to talk about this is normally, and normally I paraphrase, paraphrase Buckminster Fuller's quote, but in this case I wrote it down because I want to quote it specifically. He says, in order to change an existing paradigm, you do not struggle to try and change the problematic model. You create a new model and make the old one obsolete. That, in essence, is the higher service to which we are all being called. This is Buckminster Fuller. And that, that statement of making the old model obsolete is mimicking the natural order with complex systems. And the reason why it's with complex systems, because in this case, we're referencing making the complete living model of humanity one that is sustainable. It's transitioning into a sustainable civilization from the current everyone for themselves paradigm to a cooperative and collaborative paradigm and recognizing that we have the ability to address humanity's challenges right now with the technology and the knowledge that we have and the resources that we have right now, we could solve global food insecurity. We could solve poverty. We could solve social injustice and inequality. We could solve lack of energy infrastructure, lack of internet access, education. We could solve all these things right now with the technology and knowledge that we have. And we could be eating the healthiest food, locally grown, more diverse than what you can buy in the grocery store. We could be living on 100% renewable energy. We could be building more artistic and beautiful houses without toxic materials. We could be living in communities of people working together to create a uniquely meaningful life experience 
by coming together with shared values and interests to create a culture of growth and contribution and fulfilled living that benefits everybody living within those environments or focused on whatever it is that those people would be passionate about. It could be a community focused on music or art. It could be a community like ours focused on world change that incorporates music and art and education, all these different things. It could be a community focused on producing a product. It could be a community focused on anything, but it's about a community coming together and creating teacher demonstration hubs that demonstrate these complex systems as an evolution, as an improvement of the way that we're living right now, so much so that it becomes self-replicating because we're making it easy enough, affordable enough, and building these to demonstrate the experience of living in them as attractive enough such that the models will spread on their own. And this is mimicking the natural order because when a better system comes along in nature, it takes over. When there's a system that's designed to thrive in an environment, a lot of times we could call that an invasive species would be an example of that, or just when an ecosystem becomes balanced and starts to thrive, it explodes with life and becomes a self-sustaining system. And we want to create that. And as stewards of this planet, as the keystone species capable with the consciousness and the ability to manage this one earth that we live on and share in a sustainable way, we have the ability to trailblaze blaze a path to global sustainability that will benefit all of us. And so one community is about that. From our perspective, it's time to discover what humanity is possible and to take all the resources and the technology and the knowledge that we have and to create open source, step-by-step, -step, easy to follow instructions for all these different areas so they can be built as complete teacher demonstration hubs designed to teach other people how to build teacher demonstration hubs as well, demonstrating that mimicking the natural order with these complex systems is a better way of living that most people will objectively agree is better than the way they're living right now, making that easy enough, affordable enough, and showing that as attractive enough so it'll spread on its own and making it accessible to everyone. And so we see these as like breakthrough living and thriving models that we want everybody to have access to and we're designing them so that they can be implemented as individual components as well as the complete model so that people are like, I don't want to live in a community or I live in an urban environment. Like, how do I do this? It's not like I'm going to move out of my condo and go live in the forest somewhere with a bunch of people, a bunch of hippies and build ourselves a bunch of earth domes. Like, nah, I'm not interested in that. You know, I like my job or whatever it is. You know, well, great. We have an open source education model. We have an economic model that would still work within that environment through creating your first, you know, resource based economy with everybody else in your condo. As an example, you know, you could start rooftop gardens with our high school food model. There's a lot of different ways that this can be implemented. This, this, the stewardship models that we've already designed are have found the best ways to recycle and reuse and repurpose all of the different things that we're dealing with right now. And those could be implemented in urban environments and we've designed them specifically to be launched in any type of community environment. And so these are just some small examples showing that everything can be DIY replicated. And so we're looking at what is the, we call it highest good approach to all these different areas and how do we create DIY replication, step-by-step -step plans, easy to follow, free shared plans for all these different areas so that people that are interested can implement them in their life. And we have made a mountain of progress towards creating the complete model that will essentially be its own radically sustainable ecosystem mimicking the natural order with this complex system combining all these different elements and designed to be replicated to create a global cooperation, a global collaboration of communities, villages, cities, teacher demonstration hubs, introduced as a grassroots movement for global sustainability. And a self-replicating model like this, if you run it out 30 years, one motivating two more to start, those three working together, motivating four more, then eight more the year after that, then 16, then 32. We could accomplish this within one generation. We could accomplish this within 30 years and include all of humanity if we can create it as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough to spread its own. It's actually possible to do that. If we can reach that 
build enough of these to reach that critical mass for exponential growth, it's capable of incorporating all of humanity that is interested in participating. And the beauty of this is we don't have to incorporate all of the humanity. Like people who are not interested in this do not have to participate. It wouldn't be a high school approach if it required people to participate. Instead, we're following that Buck Finster Fuller model of building a better paradigm and inviting people to participate so that the old one becomes obsolete. But anybody who still wants to hold on to the old paradigm absolutely can as long as they want. This is our idea for super improved living model systems. And one community has become the number one global sustainability systems organization in the world because we're creating these open source plans we had so many people participate so that said uh if you're a dig what we're into subscribe through our website if you'd like to get a weekly dose of positivity if you'd like to help out visit our helping page if you'd like to see exactly what our all volunteer team has accomplished within the last uh week you can visit our weekly progress update blog if you'd like to see exactly what uh, all of our open source plans look like and all the details and everything that we've created, uh, go ahead and visit our website. And of course, if you'd like to help out in the easiest way possible, like and subscribe or stick around just for a couple more minutes and help our algorithm out by finishing out this video and watching bullet points of all the major components of our project. So with that said, this is how one community is mimicking natural order with complex systems. I'm sorry I went extra long. And until next week, we will of course keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.